Alrighty guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Extra from Team Extra, and um, I've been testing out Mimi Goal, so I figured I'd give a some little generic, basic walkthroughs with this deck, right? Just uh, get your feet in the water. This deck, all it really needs though, is uh, at least one more monster. So let's get started. So I'm going to show you a couple two card combos for this deck right now. First one is going to be Maker and Archfiend, right? So make an Archfiend together. So this one's really easy. You would hold the Archfiend. You wouldn't do anything with that. You'd go Maker. Maker for the best output. You would do... If Archfiend's already in your hand, you're going to do Cerberus. And Dragon. Alright. Okay, so let's just shuffle it up. Doesn't matter which one they're going to get. This is assuming you're going second, or this is like a, you know, guaranteed like Fuka if you're playing Fuka, right? Okay. They'll get this one. We'll get the Cerberus. And then Maker lets you special summon from hand. So you're going to special summon the Archfiend. Archfiend effect, flip over the one you gave him, which is Dragon. Irrelevant's going to go off, come back over here. And then you would go ahead and, assuming you were going second, and you're just trying to clear the board, you'd go ahead and go into Ensemble, and then Ensemble does the attacks, then Downard, then Zeus. Right? Or if you were going first, and this is just two cards out of your hand, you'd have three other cards still. And you need to, you're playing against something like Tenpai, you'd, you could just make the Fuka with it that way too. So, that's one line you can do just offer it because you still have that Cerberus for the normal summon as well if you're trying to use three. Now, another good line is a uh, open master and maker. Or you can go maker and dragon, but we're going to go master maker. So, same deal as before. You're going to go maker. You're gonna go uh, dragon. I, w I would say Cerberus, but we're gonna go dragon and uh, Archfiend, right? So let's shuffle them up again. Okay, they get this one. We get the Archfiend. So now you get to special summon one for hand, special summon master. Master effect goes and gets another body, right? So in this case, I would uh, you could grab Cerberus. Cerberus is the worst one. You can grab Dragon. Dragon's pretty good. I'd probably just grab another Dragon, honestly. Grab the Dragon, and then uh, normal summon effect. Flip this over. Dragon. Dragon, come back over here. And now you initially have just three bodies to work with. So typically what I do here is one of two plays. This could be like Futo, if you need it to be. You're going to end up giving them this dragon anyways. Or you could go these two into like... And this is just two cards into like an IP because you're going to end up using Master to flip over the dragon to bring it back to go IP into either Appaloosa, Little Knight, Unicorn, kind of just depends what you need. So that's another one. It's another two card combo. But this deck is a two card combo deck. Unless you uh, you have one for one. Now one for one, let's just say you just have like a shifter or something, right? You can do some stuff with this too. So you go one for one, pitch the shifter. As cost, special dragon, dragon effect. Dragon get maker. And then you just go Maker. I'd get a uh, Archfiend. And uh, Cerberus. Right? So we'll do the shuffle again. And 
They get this one. We get the Cerberus. We get the special the Cerberus. And then again, going first, there's a Fuko. Going second, there's Ensemble to go to a Zeus. Another that's just another way you can do it. Because for, without new support, this deck is it's still pretty fun. You can play it with like Vern Self. You can play it with uh I don't like the Vern Self version because you play in the nib. You can play Vern Self. You, I think that's just the best one I've seen. You can play Prediction Princess, but I think you're just doing too much at that point. Now let's do, uh, let's show you other things. So we'll do done. We'll do another two card combo, Dungeon and Maker. All right. So you know Dungeon, uh, Dungeon Effect. Now Dungeon lets you add a name. Now this Maker could be really good or really bad for you. Well. Really good or slightly better. I would grab uh, Master here. Okay. Now we go Maker. Now Maker, because the trap card's really, really important for this. So we'll go Dragon and Archfiend. And right now the deck only has one way to get into the trap. Do the shuffle. We get this. We get the Archfiend. I get the special one from hand. Which we can special summon the Master, or we can just special summon the Archfiend here. Uh, we'll go Archfiend for the special. Archfiend effect. Flip this over. I also get the draw a card. Drew another dungeon, that's fine. And then from here, this could be your Fuko, your uh, Zeus, anything like that. It depends if you're going first or second. Normal Master, Master Effect. Give them, grab something that you want to give them. Which, in this case, I don't know what they're playing, so I'm probably going to give them Dragon. And Dragon Effect, they give it back to them. We still have a Dungeon. Again, going first. Because I'm playing more of just like a pure build right now. Because uh, I haven't really tested the waters for the cash build and the burn silk build, I just don't like. So you know you can go to that, or if you're going, if you want to sit on something else, you can like go to ensemble, do stuff like that, and then still have this, and then you can flip dragon over to try to blow the board. That's another way you can do it. All right. Um. I am playing summoning curses, so I can show you something. I can show you some cool stuff with that. So we'll just put the summoning curse right here. Now, if you have two ways in the names, then you're just really good. If you can open or get into three names to where you give them three cards, that's pretty good too. So let's just go ahead and do the draw. Bam, bam. Okay, sure. Sure. Alright, so. You're going to start with the dungeon. Dungeon effect. For this, I would probably give them an Archfiend. It's either that or, uh, it doesn't matter. So, I actually drew in another curse. So we're going to do double curses. Give them an Archfiend, and they're going to banish to other hand. Alright? And we're going to set this. Normal summon effects. Target. Flip it over. Alright, we're going to draw a card. Which is Maker. And this is going to come back over. They discard a card, so they have traded three cards out of their hand already. Alright? So they have two left. Uh, maker. Uh, maker will go Cerberus and Dragon. And then we'll shuffle it up. Like, it's going to take some time for this deck to be really good, in my personal opinion. But it's definitely got potential. We get this, we get Cerberus. So what's going to happen here is it'll go 
This was special because this is all one effect. Special the Cerberus. I have no hand right now because I set my other card. And so my curse is going to go off and take the last two cards out of their hand. So they have no hand either. Which is cool. And then uh, they also, I flipped over their Archfiend. So we are going to Talents to draw two. Or to look at their hand. But I would draw two here if they have no hand. And then, you know, Swords of Revealing Light. Have a Shifter that's dead. Talents is gone. And then, yeah, you're going first. You can do some janky stuff here if you're going second. You can make Zeus going first. I wouldn't even Fuko here. I'd probably just, like, uh, take this. Go into, like... I don't know, I'd probably just go to an IP here, really. But yeah, deck's cool. I am excited for what the support can hold. Hopefully this was informational. I have not been as consistent with the content lately because I've been dealing with some life stuff. <coughs> but, deck is cool. You should check it out. It's really good. I am playing like Super Poly right now with mine. I tested without it before, but Super Poly seems like it's pretty good. And yeah, uh, if you have any ideas for different variations of this build you can play, because I've seen Ancient Gear, I've seen Burn Self, I've seen Ghost Trick, and then I've seen like Dogmatica, people with, like all kinds of different ones. The extra deck doesn't really matter so much with this, because it's all just, my extra deck is just, uh, it's just standard removing stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I will try to be more consistent after I deal with this, the rest of this life stuff going on. And thanks for watching as always.